morning. Tell us, what's the plan for tonight? Good evening, Michelle. Yes, we're here in Manchester. We've been setting up all day. And as you can probably see behind me, and maybe even here, the audience has started to arrive. We're in the final throngs of preparation. I've just been inside the really quite impressive auditorium-like area that we have been preparing all day. Looking forward to Alistair's interviews one-on-one -on -one with these candidates, but also, of course, the crucial questions from the members that we will be hearing as well. All start in less than an hour exclusively on GB News. It's important to note the stage of the contest in which we are now sat. It's just a couple of weeks until we hear who becomes our next Prime Minister. Really the final hurdles of this race, given that we know next week we're expecting a postal strike as well. Conservative members are encouraged to get their ballots in quickly, potentially this weekend. And that could mean something very significant for this race. This could be the last big opportunity for these candidates to sway the minds of the tens of thousands of members who are still yet to vote, according to the opinion polls we have seen this week. And what's really interesting here is, of course, we've seen these polls show a pretty large lead for Liz Truss in the last couple of weeks, which means one thing. In order for Rishi Sunak, the self-confessed underdog in in this race to make ground, it might well get a bit scrappy. It will certainly get quite fiery. It will not be one to miss. We'll not be missing it.